Hi, my name is Paulino Silva and I'm here to talk about the cost volume profit analysis. The cost volume profit analysis, although simplified, is very useful for decision making and it is specially suitable for short term decisions. In this video, we will analyze the break even point. This is the point where the profit is zero, where the value of sales is equal to the value of total costs. Before moving to the chart animation, it is important to list the assumptions of this analysis. Constant is the watch word, constant selling price, constant variable cost per unit and constant total fixed costs. Furthermore, if more than one product is considered in this analysis, the sales mix also need to be constant. Finally, for this analysis, it is considered that the number of units produced is equal to the number of units sold. Here you have all the abbreviations used in this video. Total fixed costs, total variable costs, total costs, sales, break-even point in units and break-even point in value. To illustrate the cost volume profit analysis, we need a two-dimensional chart where the horizontal axis present the physical drives and the vertical axis present monetary values. We can design fixed costs through a horizontal line parallel to the x-axis. In terms of variable costs, we can design a sloping line that got its start in section 00, 0 and extending increasingly to the right. In this case, we see that as we increase the quantity also increases the corresponding costs. A new line that represents the total costs should include the sum of fixed costs with variable costs. Thus, the total cost should be represented by a line parallel to the variable costs starting at the origin with the value of fixed costs. Finally, to represent sales, the line should begin in section 00, zero such as the variable costs but will have a greater slope to ensure that the contribution margin represented by the difference between sales and variable costs is always larger than zero. After the lines drawn representing the total costs and sales, we can get an intersection point where the total costs are equal to sales. This is called break-even point. The break-even point is represented in value and quantity as we can see by this chart. It means that if the company produces or sells above this critical amount, it is in a profit area. If the company produces or sells below this critical amount, it is in a loss area. Thank you very much for your attention.